Welcome to Palo Pitch, a show where entrepreneurs pitch their businesses to investors with the hope of getting investment. In this episode, we start by asking the entrepreneur how this investment could change his life. It's going to change my life a lot because I really depend on it and I've worked towards this plan for years and I have taken all necessary surveys and I know it's going to change my life. Good afternoon. Toyota Corolla and Toyota Camry 2007 2008 model has been on high demand. And I've seen that many persons have come to me and said, Do you have a Toyota Corolla for sale? And I said, For now, the first big container is my target. And that will cost me 8 million. But if we can go at by one car at a time, 2.5 million will be enough to bring in one car and play it, and then we we'll sell it for 2.7. And bicycles as well have also been on high demand. One bicycle can be sold for 70 to 80,000 as well as 100,000. And then I also have the offer to give 40% to my investors. I don't need a shop, I don't need a way out. All I just need to do is to report, and then my buyers come, I offload the containers, and then they buy the cars, they pick up the bicycles, and go their way. Christian is a freight forwarder but he now wants to deal with the big boys. By going into the car importation business, he needs a minimum of two and a half million naira and is willing to give away 40% of the business. It is time to find out exactly how he intends to compete with the big boys. So you said you're going to be sort of taking some of the market share from the dealerships. How are you going to make it cheaper than the existing people? The Corolla, Toyota Corolla is sold for 2.9. 2.8 as the case may be. But challenging their status quo, I will bring it down to 2.7, 2.750. At least bringing it down 50 to 100,000 differences from them and then having a continuous uh, future purchase. Okay, so you're, you're just bringing the price down compared to them. You're not doing something special to make it cheaper. You're just bringing the price down to make it more competitive. Yes, sir. Because they are overpricing. Yes, sir. Okay, I understand. Um, and then also, in terms of bringing the cars in, who is sourcing the cars okay. from wherever they're coming from? Do you have somebody abroad who is doing nothing? Okay, yes, I have. Okay, and then final question for now, uh, if I pass it on. Um, you said you don't really need, like, a place to put all these vehicles and stuff. So, and you said you have people that will be buying for you. So, who, who are these? Do you have them buyers ready to yes. sign up to buy the product for me? Yes, I do have them. They are standby to speak. And uh, it is not, it's not going to be on demand. It's not like I will just import anything and then once keep it for it to get rust okay. and then now get frustrated to send it any amount. I was just a bit confused at the beginning. I didn't know if you wanted to import bicycles or cars. About hearing you speak on, I see that it's a uh, general importation, right? Okay, so my question is you're giving 40% to the investors, you said. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and that leaves you with 60%. Yes, sir. Is that enough to sustain the business? Too? Have you thought about that? Yes, it is. Are these accidental cars or normal cars? Normal clean cars. Then the bicycles as well. I was interested in the bicycles. You told me. We're importing even those bicycles and that been because that's one habit that I think Nigerians need. Yes, to. I, I, I also know that the bicycles are going to But bringing it down based on what, just like he asked, what's the reason? Well, I would like to know that. So are you saying, if you said to me, I'm bringing a semi accidented vehicle and they have to fix like maybe the bulbs or like the front part of the car, that's why it's a lot cheaper. It would make more sense to me. But like, what's the rationale behind it? And you're still giving the investors 40% to so don't, so don't forget that. Okay, well, the reason, the, the logic behind it is because since we have buyers stand on standby, I don't know if they will have the patience to wait for us to take weeks in fixing accidented cars. But it's, it's also a welcome idea that we can also buy accidented cars and fix it and still sell it and make more profit. So if you can spot that gap in the market, that demand, I mean, that car dealers all over the place, why do you think they have not spotted it? It's because 
They all have their own area of business and specialty. So you think they're putting other brands of cars? They're putting other brands of cars and their cars are high. A friend of mine was who is very close to me. Several times he came to my place of work and said he's looking for a Toyota Corolla to buy. And we, we searched the whole port just to get the Toyota Corolla for, for, for him to buy. And we couldn't find. Other persons are just focused on other things from all locations and with what I've gathered and seen that it's on high demand. You did say that um, you've been able to get for about 15 k less than a dealer. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I would think that's quite slim because, I mean, the dealer kind of provides, because you're, you're just starting. Have you started at all? No. Okay, so you're just about to start. Why would they come to you? Because for, just, just to give a bit of context. Okay. If I want to get a car, I'd rather go to a dealer that is, you know, established, they have a physical location, if anything goes wrong, I can go back there, that kind of stuff. So why would I come to you? All right. The, the reason why you will come to me is because when I start the business by giving to the standby buyers I already have, of course, I want to make it known through my Facebook and other platforms. Do you have any money on, on, that you have saved that you want to move to this business? No. You don't have any money saved? Uh, I think, you know, it's a, it's a good idea. I don't think it's necessarily unique. Also, with the bicycle thing, it kind of threw me off. So maybe next time, uh, focus on one thing. You know, I want to do the cars or I want to do the bicycles. Because when you mix the two, they're both two different vehicles and in very different markets and different things all together. With that being said, you know, it sounds like you're in the system from the free forward side. Yeah. You have the buyers, you know the intricacies and all that. That, that goes well for you. I, I would just say try and also look into ways that you're different. Because when I ask you, what are you doing different? You're saying, oh, I'll bring the price down by 50k. That is not a unique set business model, you know what I mean? So maybe try and look for ways how your specific freight forwarding skills can add something to your business model so that when you're approaching someone, you're not just another importer. You're an importer plus something else. I don't know if you're following Yeah, that. actually I have an idea because a friend of mine, she's into car insurance. Okay. And I believe I can also incorporate it. Okay. Okay. You buy from me and insure your car for you for a year. Uh -huh. so, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's interesting because you can then bring your free forwarding insurance, you know, because a lot of people might not be able to do that, bringing different yes. aspects into it. So that's a forward, like, you know, in the future of something you're looking to doing, that that would be really interesting. But so, that's pretty much you know, everything I'm um, In terms of the markets, I think you might be underrating it a bit because I feel that if there's that much demand for that particular type of car, I think people who are there would already know because the customers will definitely ask for you know, what they want. Um, in terms of the money, obviously I haven't got it needed to give you <laughs> Even to start with one car, it's a minimum of 2.5. That's just to start. We're not even talking about the other logistics or promotion or any other thing that will come about. Focus on declaring stuff and add the additional services because that's quite an important area. Like you mentioned insurance. And there, you know, there's a, a long chain of things that can be added to purchasing a car. There's maintenance, there's insurance, you say, and all that kind of stuff. We're not getting investment today, but try and focus on those kind of services and then you grow better. You can even save some more money yeah. and you can partner with someone in a better way. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Unfortunately, Christian did not get the money he was hoping for. Now, let's conclude this video. Well, it went well. I enjoyed and I thank the organizers for making such show a remarkable one. I would want to employ the viewers and investors to consider my offer and invest in my business because it's going to go a long way. I'm sure of that. This of the bike was just kind of a modern gimmick. You know, people throw in eco-friendly style, modern stuff, you know, catch attention. Like, like you said, like, I don't know if you really need that much about the bicycle. Those kind of throw in the like, bicycle. Dollar goes to the even the cars are struggling. Yeah. No, we have bikes. I thought the bikes were 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to say though. That's how they come across very well at so, I think the way we, we was going across as to buying the cars was more than a 50 difference. I don't think that's going to penetrate. It's not enough to penetrate the market.